Um, so today we are going to learn some new verbs, which is um, any verbs that end with um, E to IE, so like the extension is E to IE. So yesterday we learned the verbs um, almorzar, which is to eat lunch, volver, to come back or to return, mostrar is to show, and dormir is to sleep. And those um, have extensions where the ocean is to you eat. So let's take a look. Almorzar. So you guys did this on your notebook. So if you want to go ahead and grab your notebook, open your notes so you can uh, visualize what you did yesterday. So you almuerzo, tu almuerzas. So go ahead and repeat after me so you can practice this pronunciation. Yo almuerzo. Tu almuerzas. Él, ella, usted almuerza. Nosotros almorzamos. Vosotros almorzáis. And ustedes, ellos, ellas, almuerzan. We also learn dormir, which means to sleep. Repeat after me. Yo duermo. Tú duermes. Él, ella, usted duerme. Nosotros dormimos. Vosotros dormís. And ustedes, ellos, ellas, duermen. We learned the, the verb volver. Yo vuelvo a la casa. Tú vuelves a la escuela. Él, ella, usted vuelve a la cafetería. Nosotros volvemos al concierto. Vosotros volvéis a la casa. En ustedes, ellos, ellas, vuelven a la playa. So when we return to a place, don't forget to put the A. Last class, we have the verb mostrar, which means to show. Mostrar is a stem change or to you eat. Repeat after me. Yo muestro. Tú muestras. Él, ella, usted muestra. Nosotros mostramos. Vosotros mostráis. En ustedes, ellos, ellas muestran. No eres de... On all these verbs, the nosotros and the vosotros is the place where we don't use the stem change. So today we have new verbs. So now the stem change is going to be E to IE. So please go ahead and get ready to make notes. Please pause the video as you need so you can uh, take the time to make these notes. Remember, this should, should be on your cuaderno de español, on your notebook. So let's start with the verb merendar. Merendar means to eat a snack or to snack. And the first, uh, the second E is going to have a stem change, yeah? Where you have the stem change um, IE. So for the yo form, you will have yo meriendo, tu meriendas, Él, ella, usted, merienda. We don't follow a stem change for the nosotros and the vosotros, so the E is going to stay the same. Nosotros merendamos. Vosotros merendáis. En ustedes, ellos, ellas, merienda. ¿Qué meriendas? What do you snack? You can say yo meriendo las papitas. I snack. Yo meriendo la fruta. I snack the fruit. So go ahead and share with your partner. What do you snack? Pause the video. Okay. Now let's go into the next verb. Empezar. Empezar means to begin on doing something. Or actually I want you to add another definition here, which is to start. So empezar. Él, ella, usted empieza. Nosotros empezamos. Vosotros empezáis. Ustedes, ellos, ellas empiezan. I begin. You begin. 
he, she, usted. So, él, ella, usted empieza. We begin. You all begin if we are in Spain. You all begin if you're in any other country that is in Latin America. And they begin for ellos, ellas empieza. This verb, again, can be to begin or to start. So, I star, you star, he stars, she stars. Yeah. This verb also um, is followed by an infinitive. So, for example, I can say, yo empiezo la tarea. I begin the homework. So that's a sentence that I can use. Yeah, I begin the homework. Yo empiezo la tarea. But I'll... Yes, I am going to uh, add an A after the conjugation to say I begin in doing something, and that doing something is going to be an infinitive verb. For example, yo empiezo a. If I begin eating, you will say yo empiezo a. If I begin studying, I will say yo empiezo a. Estudiar. If I begin snacking, yo empiezo a. So that means that this verb, since it's followed by an infinitive verb, I need you to add into your pink sheet. So pause the video, grab your pink sheet, and add empezar a into your list. Empezar a means to begin doing something. And that verb goes into your pink sheet. The one where we add a verb, where we conjugate the first verb, but we don't conjugate the second one. Yeah? Okay. Again, I'm assuming that you're pausing the video to be able to have time to do all these things. Let's go into uh, the last verb of the day that is divided in three. Pensar has three definitions. Pensar means to think. Yeah? But depends on how you're using it then that is the definition. For example, if I think, uh, if I plan on doing something, I am going to use pensar followed by an infinitive verb. For example, yo pienso jugar al basketball. I plan on playing basketball. Tu piensas bailar. You plan on dancing. Él, ella, usted piensa entrenar. She or he is planning on training. Nosotros Pensamos bailar. We are planning on dancing. Vosotros pensáis jugar al fútbol americano. You all plan on playing American football. And the last one, ustedes, ellos, ellas, piensan. So when I have the verb followed by an infinitive verb, we're going to use this version. That means this is another verb that you add into your pink sheet. Why? because it's followed by an infinitive verb. You conjugate this verb, but the verb that comes next to it, you don't conjugate. So pause the video, grab your pink sheet, and add the verb pensar. And pensar means to plan on doing something. So after you add the information, let's go into the next portion of pensar. We have pensar when we actually think about something or someone, yeah? So I'm gonna say, to think or about, and then here I can say something or someone. So, for example, if I think about my boyfriend, well, I'm married, so I cannot think about my boyfriend, but you might think about your boyfriend, yeah? Or uh, I think about my husband, or I think about my dog, I am going to use en next to the verb. For example, yo pienso en, tú piensas en. Él, ella, usted piensa en, nosotros pensamos en, vosotros pensáis en, en ustedes, ellos, ellas, piensan en. So, I think about my dog. Yo pienso en mi perro. Yeah? So, this is how we use this word. The last one is to think about an, an opinion. So, when you want to give an opinion about something, we're going to use the que next to it. Yo pienso que, tú piensas que, Él, ella, usted piensa que 
nosotros pensamos que, vosotros pensáis que, en ustedes, ellos, ellas, piensan que. Sorry about that. So if I want to give you an example in here, I'm going to give an opinion about math class. Yo pienso que la clase de matemáticas es divertida. I think the math class is fun. So that's how we use this verb. We're going to practice more on Friday, but right now I want you to make these notations. Yeah? So if you need to go back, again, um, this video is posted in Google Classroom as well. So you can finalize these notes. Uh, or you can just ask uh, myself to just pause the video and come back and, and retake or redo some notations there. The word for today will involve to conjugate the verbs, empezar, merendar, pensar en, and pensar followed by an infinitive. And then conjugate the verb based on the subject I'm giving you, translate the sentences, and then I'm mixing uh, verbs that are true verbs and verbs that are not true verbs, so verbs that are regular. For example, beber, you will have to conjugate it and just drop the ending. But if the verb is true verb, you have to give me the stem change based on the subject I'm giving you, yeah? Based on what words I have in this box, go ahead and pick the right conjugation for each of these sentences, and then match for each of these verbs the definition that is appropriate, and that is your word for today. Now, please complete this and uh, get your feedback, check your work, the answer key is on the gold table, like always. And then put your name on it and then submit it into the bin. Do not forget to complete everything. I don't want you to rush your work. I want you to do it right. Um, if you have some extra time there because you finished really quick, uh, what I did is I posted two links on Google Classroom under Work 70 where you can take a personality test and a type of learner test. That will help you to kind of define what kind of things you need when you are learning new subjects or when you're in school. So maybe you can just talk to me later and say, hey, can you incorporate some of these things into the lesson so I can, that can help me learn a little bit better. Yeah. If you have any questions, please um, write them down so you can ask them on Friday. And um, anyway, yeah, so I hope to see you on Friday. Thank you so much.